Welcome. Today, we're going to define the midpoint formula. So let's consider a horizontal line. Let's call this point x1, y1. And let's call this point x2, y2. One thing to consider is that in horizontal lines, the y values of the coordinate points don't change. So instead of calling this y1 and y2, let's just call both of them y. Now, if we consider the midpoint of this horizontal line, at least we know that the y value is not going to change. But how about the x coordinate? Well, notice that the x coordinate will be the mid value between x1 and x2 or we can call that the average value between x1 and x2. And to find the average value, we can add x1 and x2, and then we can divide it by 2. So now we have a coordinate point or the midpoint of a horizontal line. The y value don't change, and the x value is the average between the left and the right point. Now let's consider a vertical line. Let's call the above point x1, y1, and let's call the below point x2, y2. Well, one thing to notice is that in a vertical line, the x values don't change. So instead of calling this x1 and x2, let's just call them both x. Now to define the midpoint, at least we know that the x value is not going to change. But the y component is the average of y1 and y2. So now we can define as the midpoint of x comma and the average of the y's. y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So now that we have seen these two scenarios separately, now let's consider a diagonal line. Let's call this value x1, y1, and let's call this value x2, y2. So now the question is, what is the coordinate point of the midpoint? Now let's break this diagonal line into its horizontal distance and its vertical distance. Well, one thing to notice, if we draw a vertical line coming from the midpoint of this diagonal, it will intersect the midpoint of the horizontal line. Which we know how to find that. That was the average of the x values, comma y. If we draw a horizontal line from the midpoint, it will intersect the midpoint of this vertical line. And we know how to find that. That was x comma the average of the y values. But one thing to notice is that the midpoint uses the x component of the midpoint of the horizontal line. And then in addition, that same midpoint uses the y component of the midpoint of the vertical line. So now we put this all together. Now we can define the midpoint of any diagonal line which is going to use the x component of the midpoint of the horizontal line, the average of the x's, and it's going to use the y component of the midpoint of a vertical line, which is the average of the y's. So now notice that we have defined a formula to always find the midpoint. Welcome. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.